I'm David Pincus. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and an associate professor of psychology at Chapman University. What I'm trying to work with is a, an original theory that relates to human resilience. So how do biopsychosocial systems, biological, psychological, social, how do they interact and how does that determine whether a person is resilient or not, whether they can bounce back from a difficulty, whether it be a physical illness or something like a social conflict or a loss. For example, in some experimental studies, we induced conflict into groups and then observed that the uh, group dynamics became more rigid. When personality structure gets more rigid, the more likely the person is to be depressed, anxious, have alcohol and drug problems, so instead of looking at different personality traits, we look at the overall global structure. What's the shape of the personality? Like a tree, basically, or any kind of branching structure, organized in complex shapes known as fractals. We've found that when people are more flexible and also well integrated, a nice smooth branching structure, people tend to be more resilient. Most broadly, what I'd like to do is really move the theory forward on understanding what resilience is and make it more grounded in, in basic science. I enjoy involving students in every phase of the work that I do. Undergraduates are especially open to using theory and models from other branches of science and apply it to psychology. Ideally, I get them involved in helping to collect the data, doing data analysis. When we get results, they help me generate hypotheses that I hadn't otherwise thought of and then ultimately helping me write up the results. By the time the students are finished in my lab, they definitely are familiar with the statistical software packages like SPSS. Most of the students in my lab go on to graduate school, so it's really helpful experience for that. When you get outside of the classroom and you're working with students in small groups or one-on-one, -on -one, there's so much more that you can do. I mean, a big part of why therapy works is that saying something out loud is worth thinking about it about a thousand times. So if I can talk ideas out with students, it's a more productive scientific endeavor. And the growth, obviously, is really fun to watch. They really gain abstract thinking abilities and critical thinking abilities and how to look at the world, be curious, and then come up with some elegant way, ideally, to ask nature the right questions so that you can get closer to the truth.